Thank you very much for watching our tutorials. In this video, we will teach you how to customize the form design. The Calculated Fields Form plugin allows you to fully customize the appearance of forms and their components. There are several sections that we will describe in more detail throughout the video. As you will notice, some changes are applied directly in the form editor, while others require you to press the preview button. We have made this decision because the plugin enables you to apply all the visual changes you desire to the form components, which could potentially impact the form editor and make it very difficult to interact with the form controls. Our first step will be to select the general layout of our form design. To do this, we will click on the Form Design tab and scroll down to the Form Template attribute. The plugin comes with several predefined design templates that you can choose from the Form Template list. Additionally, it allows you to create your own templates. However, we will cover this topic in another video. The templates generally define the form's design, including aspects such as the background color of the form, the layout of buttons and input fields, text sizes, pagination, and other common elements of the controls. Once we select a template, we can preview the appearance of our form by clicking the Save and Preview button. The Basic Settings section in the Form Settings tab includes other attributes related to the form design. The Form Name tag attribute allows you to select the header tag to use for displaying the form title. The Text Align attribute enables you to align both the form name or title and its description. The Text Color attribute allows you to modify the color of the text in the form title and its description. Lastly, the Label Placement attribute, which affects all form controls, changes the position of their labels. You can display them above the input fields or beside. The Advanced Settings section in the Form Settings tab is divided by components, form title, form description, form area, form context buttons, form context buttons hover. Each area corresponding to a component consists of pairs of CSS rules and their values. You can associate as many pairs of CSS rule value with a component as you wish. To do this, simply click the Add Rule button within the component area. To make it easier for developers and enhance the plugin's user experience, the input boxes for CSS rule names are linked to a list of CSS rule names for auto-completion. The Advanced Settings section includes the attribute Customize Form Design, which we will revisit later. This is a CSS editor with syntax highlighting and error identification. The Customize Form Design attribute allows you to input CSS blocks directly to modify the design of multiple controls at once or adjust aspects of the form not covered by the component areas. Controls, similar to the form, include the Advanced Settings section in their configuration. The Advanced Settings section in the Control Settings groups pairs of CSS rule values into components, such as the control label, user instructions, or the input box. Components vary from one control to another, as they have different structures. The components of a slider control will be different from those of an email control, which in turn is different from the components of a file upload control. Just like in the case of the form, you can input multiple pairs of CSS rule slash value by clicking the Add Rule button, and to see the effects of the CSS rules, you should click the Save and Preview button. In the case of controls, we may encounter a common scenario where we are applying the same styles to multiple controls. This leads us to repeat the process of entering the same CSS rules and values over and over again.
Additionally, when we want to modify one of these styles, we would have to edit each control separately. For such cases, the Customize Form Design attribute in the Advanced Settings section of the Form Settings tab is a great solution. You would simply define a CSS class through the Customize Form Design attribute and enter the name of this CSS class in the Add CSS Layout Keywords attribute of the controls you wish to customize. This way, you would define the styles of controls with a common appearance only once, and the same applies when you want to make changes, as you would only need to edit the class in the Customize Form Design attribute.